theater is a terrific laboratory to develop leadership ideas and skills and a leadership mindset. Now at first glance you might think this isn't true because a lot of people think that theater is about acting. Acting is about a uh, big voice, lots of emotion, and it's about being fake. There's, there's something about being fake that's in, act, that's in acting. And leaders have to be authentic and genuine. I think this mistakes what goes on in the theater. What goes on in good theater is everybody's real. Everybody's genuine. Now, you're playing a part, but the audience knows you're playing a part. There's nothing fake about that. Everybody's in on it with you. So the more you can call up the emotions that you need to play the part, the more you get in touch with your emotions, the more you get in touch with behaviors that you need to exhibit at the right moment. Acting isn't about being fake. That's bad acting. Acting is about being in the moment and being genuine and trying to portray a particular emotion or behavior or trying to get something that you want, that your character wants, uh, that maybe is in conflict with another character. Theater is the place where you practice being genuine, not where you practice overacting and over-emoting. And this idea of having your emotions at your fingertips so that you really can call them up to display them in a genuine way when you need to is invaluable as a leader. The first time we taught the course, a student was trying to explain uh, why take a theater course in business school to some of his colleagues in another class. And they said, well, aren't you learning to be fake? And the student said, no, no, you don't, you don't understand what, what acting is, what theater is. Acting's about getting in touch with yourself. It's about understanding who you are so you can interpret the character through who you are. Now, sometimes you might have to stretch your own skills. You have to stretch your own ability to display emotions. But the ability to do that, the laboratory to do that in the theater is a lot better than doing that at a board meeting. I'd like to give an example about how you use your experiences to display something that's genuine when you, when you need to. The first or second time we taught the course, we had a student who uh, had a critical part in the play, and she had to get angry. And this was a student who uh, didn't get angry very much. We couldn't do anything to make her a angry. We just couldn't, couldn't fi figure out how to, how to do it until uh, Randy, the director, said, uh, do your children ever frustrate you? She had two uh, kids, I think. And she said, yeah. And he said, well, think about a time when your children made you really frustrated and angry. And she immediately tuned in to that emotion, immediately was able to do the part, and now had at her fingertips a much more robust repertoire of behavior to display when it was appropriate. None of it was fake. It was real. But she had, uh, she had a choice now about what behaviors to display. Acting's about choices, about choices that you make. So is leadership.